So then guys, this is a neat one for you. Did you know that you can actually connect up an iPad to your Mac mini? So you can actually use your iPad as a screen for your Mac mini and you could potentially take it around with you so you don't actually have to have another monitor with that. And I'm gonna say it like that because there is a situation where you can do this, but there are also a few other situations where you might need another additional monitor too to sort of get your Mac mini showing on an iPad. But today, what I want to do is I want to go through with you three different ways that you could potentially do this because especially that if you buy yourself a Mac mini and if you own an iPad right now well you know this is a great sort of setup just to chuck into your kind of bag right now if you have an iPad Pro you have a normal iPad like the 10th generation here iPad Air even an iPad mini with the Mac mini and this is really really great to see that you can actually do this so the first method I want to show you is by by using an additional monitor too. So let's check this out. So the first method to do this is obviously you'll need your Mac mini all set up and you'll also need another monitor and then obviously you also need your iPad. And you can use any iPad what's actually sort of AirPlay or kind of can do any mirroring from your actual Mac mini. And what I mean by this is that you can actually go to your actual settings here and then what we can do is we can go down to our actual displays and then what we can do is obviously I've got my LED cinema display here. I can add here any other sort of device. So what I can do is what we want to do is we want to go to the mirror option here. We don't want to link the keyboard and mouse. And what I mean by that, that's because I'm using a actual keyboard and mouse right now, as you can see, and that's how I'm moving everything around here. But with that, I want to go down to the iPad 10th generation because that's what we've got right here. And if I do this, what we've got, we've got a mirror and it should pop up there. And that's really, really cool. And to change this, this is quite simple. So we want to go back to the original sort of display we've got right here. And you can see it says use this main display. And then what we want to do is we actually want to change this now. So on the iPad, I'm now going to stop the mirroring all together here. And then if we go back to our main display, we can now say extended display. So here we go. So there we go. We've got the extended display. And there we have it. Now what we have then is that we have the primary display at the bottom now on the iPad. And if I just move my mouse across here, you can see it's there. But obviously we don't really want it around like this. We want to arrange it a bit differently. So I actually want to have my Mac mini on top like that and have my iPad below, what we can see here now on the bottom part of the screen. So now if I click done, what I can do is now if I just move my mouse up, you can see it goes up to the screen above and bring it back down. It brings it down back into the actual iPad. So this is pretty cool that we can actually see here. So yeah, that is really, really awesome. Now, one of those questions that you're probably going to ask is, well, can I now detach this secondary monitor behind and just use the iPad? Well, the bad news I've got for that is no, you can't. And I'm just going to demonstrate here for you. If I actually pull out here the monitor at the back, you can see here what will happen is the iPad will completely just disconnect. So here we go. There we go. So that method, you can't do this. So, and your next question might be, well, can I actually use the trackpad and also the keyboard on the iPad? Well, we can use the keyboard. But sadly, we can't use the actual trackpad it's not possible to actually use the mouse. So you can see here, I've got it on the side here, this little circle thing, but the second I move it onto the screen, nothing will work because it's still trying to operate the iPad operating system behind it. So sadly, that won't work. But one thing what does sort of work is obviously if we go into Safari now, and that is the keyboard does work. You can see here, I can type a load of bits and pieces. So at least that bit does work, but you'd only be able to use the keyboard, but you'd also have to have your mouse too, to actually make this setup work and also another monitor. But like I said, this method is not the best one to probably use, but at least it does work. So personally, I wouldn't say this way is the most ideal way of doing it because you have to have another monitor with you all of the time. And yeah, not the best. The cool thing I guess we have with that is that you get an additional monitor. So if you do find a place where there is say another monitor connects up to your Mac mini, and then you can also use your iPad. So say if you are in a hotel room, you have a HDMI cable, connect it up to the TV like that, or the outlet like on the hotel room has a HDMI. And then you can actually use the iPad like on your lap as a mirrored sort of display. That is pretty cool that you can actually do that or on a desk or something like that. So you get the idea there is an advantage 
message there that you can do this. But the next method that I want to show you is that if you didn't have an additional monitor, what can you do there? Well, check this way out. So for this next option, you'll need two things. One is you'll need this adapter, what you can see right here. This here is a USB-C to a HDMI. And it's not just anything, this is actually a video capture HDMI cable here or adapter what we've got here. And obviously mine's got USB normal and also USB-C, but what we want to do is we actually want to plug in the USB-C end here into the actual iPad. And then what we need is we need an actual HDMI cable. So I'm just going to plug that into here. So that one goes into there. And then the other end of the HDMI cable, all that needs to do is go into the back of the Mac Mini via HDMI. And then what we need is just one more app, what's called the Orion app. Something else what I'll leave a link to. And we just have to open that up here. And then obviously this is the first time that you see it. And then as you can see here, it tells you that you need to buy yourself a dongle and everything like that. We can continue. And then obviously you can see here, it says I like to use the camera and everything like that, use the microphone. We'll just allow all of those. And there we go. You can see now that we've actually got the feed coming through here. This here is the actual Mac Mini. So if we just get rid of this for the moment, there we go, we get rid of the toolbar, and there we have it. We have now the full here, the whole idea of that we've got our actual Mac Mini being used completely, what's really, really cool. Now again, that same question you're gonna ask, well, can I use the trackpad? No, you can't. This is actually, obviously, you see here from the actual, um, actual iPad OS sort of operating system, and the same with the keyboard, it's one of the letdown. So what you would need to have for this is you would need a keyboard and you would need the mouse. And for that reason, as you can probably guess, we don't actually need this part here. So if you do have the 10th generation iPad, you just need a stand or any iPad. You don't actually need the magic keyboard folio or anything like that. You just need keyboard, a mouse, this cable adapter, what is really, really cheap to buy, it only costs around about $20 or so, so it's really, really great. And then you can actually fully use this. So if you do have an actual iPad, all you just need to do is just get this cable. And like I said, this app is completely free. There are some in-app purchases as well to make it look better if you wanna pay for those. But there we go, we do have a setup. Now we're saying all of this, there is an additional third way. And I wanna tell you all about it after I tell you about the channel giveaway that we are doing for this. This is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel near the end of December time. In fact, it's gonna be just before Christmas time. So we're talking about almost a month away at the time of making this video. And this is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, 256 gigabyte model, desert titanium, or you know, titanium desert, whatever it's called. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. Channel. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway at this stage is just put down into comments below what technology you're hoping to get in 2024 or even into 2025. Maybe you're going to be getting yourself a new iPhone, a Mac Mini, or even an iPad. Maybe it's going to be a PS5 Pro or something different, you know. Just let me know in the comments below. But also, like I said, I will be announcing more details about the giveaway near the end of December time. Before Christmas, there will be a video giving you more details. There'll be a little form to fill in too, so you won't want to miss out on the details because there'll be a live giveaway stream happening soon after that with all the details and everything. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. And plus you want to be a subscriber because I'm giving this away to a subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating you too, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram and all of these sort of things. Please do ignore these people. Better still you can see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from that then, the third way, and I call this the hybrid way. And let me show you more information on how to do this method. So like I said, this is a hybrid version. Now with the hybrid version, you do require to have another iPad, like I've got the iPad mini here. And again, you need to have that Orion app, the same app I just showed you a minute ago, but on a different device. And then the same sort of connection, you do need that adapter, and then we'll see that cable, HDMI and everything like that. I'll keep this other iPad on there. And then what we do is we wanna plug it into the other iPad this time, and we can do that. So let's see if the feed comes along to us. There we go, we'll just say allow, and allow the microphone, everything. 
and let's get rid of that toolbar there. So now we have that on here, but what we can actually do now on the iPad mini, if we actually want it, you know, to start using the keyboard and everything before, is that we can actually use now, I'll just get rid of that thing, got a bit of low power, is we can go to the mirroring app here now at the top, and then what we can do is we can actually screen mirror to the other iPad, and now, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll do this mirror to HDMI to USB, that one. And that's it. We now have that on that iPad instead. So we don't actually have to have this one. So we can actually just fold this one away for the moment like that. Look, you can even keep it running. We'll just fold it away. And then like before, we can actually still use this, but we would still have to use a keyboard and mouse, generally speaking, on this other iPad. Now, I will say this again, that you can actually use the keyboard from this. So if I just type away, you can see there, but obviously the mouse still doesn't work. You just still would have to have another mouse to do that. But this is another hybrid method that you can actually try this out with. And there we have it, that is the hybrid version. And just in case you're wondering, how is this all working? Well, I am gonna admit here, I have a bit of a cheat. Guess what's behind this iPad? Well, yeah, you kind of might have guessed it. It's that iPad mini there with the HDMI cable and everything. And yeah, we're doing the screen mirroring from that hidden behind there. That's how that is working. But that is the way how you can get a screen to work with this. I do really hope that potentially in the future that Apple would give the ability with a Mac Mini or any Mac that you could actually use it as a display, use the keyboard and also use the trackpad on an iPad. That would be at least cool. You know, we've moaned about saying that we want Mac OS on an iPad. Well, this might be a way of doing it. And to be honest, I can't really see this would be super hard or super tricky for Apple to sort of code up something to make this work. So if anyone at Apple's watching this, please do listen because that would be really, really cool at the very least if we can't have Mac OS on an iPad. But what do you think, guys? Are you gonna try out some of these new methods on your sort of MacBooks or you know iPads or on your Mac mini and things like this? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you've enjoyed watching this sort of review or method how to do this, make sure you do press the like button. Also, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye-bye.